Welcome to Physics Learning Point. In this video, we will discuss about Ohm's law. The Ohm's law mainly gives relation between potential difference and electric current. And this relation was first established by German scientist George Simon Ohm, famously known as Ohm's law. Ohm's law states that at constant temperature, the applied potential difference between two ends of any conductor is directly proportional to the current flowing in the conductor. Here, let us say this is the potential difference and at constant temperature, that potential difference is directly proportional to the current flowing in the conductor and it can be generally written as V equal to IR. Here R is constant, R is constant and this R is also known as the resistance. Resistance is nothing but obstruction of free flow of electrons in the conductor. Okay, the R is constant or generally it is called resistance. So, the resistance is defined as the obstruction of free flow of electrons in the conductor. Okay, so this is mainly said to be Ohm's law. Okay, V equal to IR and this law can be also written as V by I equal to constant. Constant is nothing but resistance that is R. Here V is measured in volts. Electric current measured in ampere and the resistance is measured in ohms and denoted with omega. Okay. So, this is about ohms law and all the metal conductors obey the ohms law all the metal conductors obey the ohms law the conductors which obey ohms law are said to be ohmic conductors because they obey the ohms law and when you draw the graph between potential difference and electric current in conductor ohmic conductors that on x axis i am taking potential difference on y axis I am taking electric current. If we draw the graph between potential difference and electric current, then that graph is linear in case of ohmic conductors. Okay, all the metals are ohmic conductors, and the conductors which don't obey the Ohm's law, these are said to be non-ohmic conductors, like semiconductors graphite and all electrolytes the potential difference is not directly proportional to electric current that's why these conductors are said to be non ohmic conductors okay so if you draw the graph if you draw the graph between potential difference and electric current in case of non ohmic conductors generally that graph will be curve a curve okay so, in case of ohmic conductors, all the metals are ohmic conductors because they obey Ohm's law. Ohm's law is nothing but at constant temperature, applied potential difference is directly proportional to current flowing in the conductor. Okay. So, all the metals are ohmic conductors. In case of uh, ohmic conductors, the graph between potential difference and electric current is linear. Okay. The Conductors which don't obey Ohm's law, they are said to be non-ohmic conductors. So, examples for non-ohmic conductors are semiconductors, graphite and the electrolytes, all electrolytes. And if you draw the graph between potential difference and electric current, electric current, then that graph may be curved in case of non-ohmic conductors. Okay. So, this is about Ohm's law. In next class, I will come with another important topic. Thank you.